This is my pedestrian gate next to my driveway gate that I have at my home. And for years and years, we used a mechanical lock handle set push button system to control the security of this gate. And it was always giving us troubles and lots of malfunctions and had to replace the lock and handle set many times, which were quite expensive actually. And so I decided to go with a magnetic lock system here and rig up the various components that would allow me to easily access and control the gate. And as you see here, I have wireless keypad on the outside here to control access to the gate. And I have another wireless keypad on the inside to control the gate opening and unlocking. And I also have this uh, push button transmitter, which I can control to uh, gain access as well from the inside of the house or wherever I wanted to carry it. I just punch the button once and I reach in and open up the gate like so and the gate can open and then after a few seconds I can close it back up after you walk through and it becomes quite secure and so in addition to that I wanted to be able to control this gate unlocking uh, remotely via Wi-Fi if I was someplace that had Wi-Fi access including my own home or even without Wi-Fi and so I included a Wi-Fi switch module in the circuitry which allows remote access and actually programming a schedule of when the gate can be locked or unlocked. Uh, so it's a pretty slick overall setup, worked quite well. And I made this video to show the various components that are included in the build and actually how I did the overall installation itself. So uh, the following uh, uh, video is for that purpose and hope you find it useful. Okay, this is the wiring diagram of the magnetic lock as I have triggered by a receiver that I'll show you and I'll walk through now the various components in this overall wiring diagram so you understand what I've done and I'll try to give you all the prices that were utilized for these components that actually came in um, uh, pretty efficiently I think in terms from a price standpoint but let's walk through it and I'll explain these various components. So of course I've got coming into the system into an enclosure I'll describe later a 120 volt AC power supply coming from my house into a weatherproof uh, box enclosure that runs to this 120 volt AC to 24 volt DC 60 watt converter. Uh, we're using you know, far less than only using a few, I think less than a watt. We're not using hardly any power whatsoever, but nonetheless though, this uh, uh, plenty of capacity to supply energy to this system as we're using it. I got this uh, converter online at Amazon for $27. That carries on to my backup battery system, which I uh, designed utilizing these components as you see here. I actually used a solar charge controller. It's really just a charge controller. Uh, I emulated the solar panels for this 24 volt DC uh, power supply system which uh, comes in acts, uh, as the charging element for the two batteries, two 12 volt batteries that I have hooked in series, uh, giving me 24 volts. That provides the backup battery system in the event of a power failure, these batteries would pick up and carry on in terms of power supply to the overall system. And then we have connected to this controller uh, downstream of the controller itself, uh, the uh, the overall system and the load that is occurring on the controller continuously. This controller and these two batteries make up the battery backup system. Uh, the controller itself was only 15 bucks at Amazon, so it's a heck of a deal there. These two batteries that you see here are 12 volt, 7.2 amp hour batteries. Uh, if you're an outdoorsman or deer hunter, we call them deer feeder batteries, very common commonly used. You can pick them up in many locations. I bought these two on Amazon for $18 each, which is about what they go for, for a total of about $36 for two of them. Uh, what you see here next in line is the Wi-Fi on-off control module, which is really just a Wi-Fi switch or wireless relay remote. Um, it is uh, controlled. You can get it. It's pretty slick. It's only $18 at Amazon. Uh, it is powered by the 24-volt system that we have here. Um, you can set it up on your local Wi-Fi at your home, and then you can, uh, with your iPhone or Android device using their app, 
uh, control the on off using these contactor switches that you see here. I'm connected to the normally open contactor here, which is just basically throwing this uh, contactor switch closed, creating the circuit, which is providing the power to the rest of the system downstream of this control module. Um, it's used, you can use it for lamps or anything else you want inside your home. In this case, I'm using it obviously for this magnetic lock interface. This device is the module that allows me to control wirelessly the uh, on off of the uh, overall magnetic lock system, even if I'm at home on the Wi Fi or if I'm remotely accessing it uh, via my iPhone. So going, carrying on downstream, we have a, again, continuous 24 volt DC coming and carrying on to a uh, timer is the next in line here in this overall circuit. This is a timer module, which controls the amount of seconds that the magnetic lock would be de-energized. So when the gate is open, how long it, the magnetic lock would be de-energized. I've set it for about five seconds. You do that control up on this dial here. And when an event is triggered, and I'll, uh, coming from this receiver, I'll describe that next. An event is triggered. It, uh, switches a contact relay between the normally open or normally closed relays that you have here. And that's what controls the current carrying to the magnetic lock itself, itself. And you control the on off. So it's really, really a slick little device as well. A timer module, uh, very easy to install. And uh, they're online from many sources uh, for 24 bucks. This is an Altronics uh, timer. There are probably others. Uh, I, I was recommended uh, this one and it's uh, really worked out quite nicely actually. Uh, controlling uh, the trigger release or trigger event to the timer is a Lanier MGR receiver. This is a one channel receiver, quite common to gate operators and the garage doors, etc. You can get it online from many sources for 40 bucks. Uh, this is, of course, overall uh, controlling, ultimately, the magnetic lock itself. This is an 800-pound heavy-duty magnetic lock made for outdoor use. Uh, so heavy, 800 pounds is plenty for a pedestrian uh, gate. I got this one from FastAccessSecurity.com for about $100. Interestingly, uh, it came with a 20-millimeter female uh, threaded uh, coupling down here and I needed to get an adapter for that. So I had to buy a 20 millimeter male to one half inch female so I could hook a traditional conduit up to this uh, magnetic lock to make it not only security safe, but also weatherproof safe for the wiring in my particular application. Uh, I got that adapter from Galco for nine bucks online. Again, I'm putting all this down in the description below. And I got this buzzer from Amazon. It is real cheap. There's all types of buzzers on Amazon. This is six bucks for two of them. And, um, and it makes a little noise that, or, or a high pitched noise, uh, that would be real annoying, but I keep it in the enclosure box itself. So I can't even hear it when I'm operating the gate. My son could, but I could not. So, uh, and, and that's the way I like it. At the end of the day, I don't need a buzzer going off, uh, uh annoying the neighbors whenever my gate I uh, want to operate the gate in the middle of the night. To control the transmitter and uh, trigger the transmitter to, uh, uh, again, trigger an event in the overall system. In my case, I could not hook up a wired keypad. I needed to use a wireless keypad. And I needed two of them, one on the inside and one on the outside of the gate system. So I ended up getting two of these Lanier MDKP wireless keypad transmitters. Uh, they're multi-code format. Uh, these are great uh, uh, keypad transmitters. They're bulletproof. I've had uh, other ones I've used in other locations on other properties, and they've just been really, really durable and long-lasting in the weather and in the elements. They are pricey. Uh, the first one I was able to find for 100 bucks online and eBay, but that's really a bargain. They normally run 200 and I had to get the other one for $200 uh, online. They're available from various sources. And uh, so they're quite pricey. You can get these multi-code uh, type uh, key, wireless keypads for down to like 35 bucks at various sources. Uh, they're not gonna be as durable, but they may suit your application just fine. I just wanted the reliability and, and the known durability of this MDKP transmitter. 
Uh, I also got this uh, Lanier ACT31B transmitter. It's just a simple push button transmitter. I got it for 17 bucks. You can get them from many sources online as well. So all of these fit into a plastic enclosure. This is the design that you see right now of how it all fits together in the enclosure. And uh, you can follow the wiring diagram and hook all these components up just as I've shown you, but they physically fit in this enclosure that I have specified down below in the description. Got it for about 58 bucks, I think, on Amazon. Uh, and it's just worked out just fine. Uh, and when it's all told and you add all these components up that I've been reeling off here, you get about $800 if you include miscellaneous items at your Home Depot store or Lowe's or wherever you're going to go buy your various conduit fittings, wire, etc. You're going to be into all this for about $800. Now, understand that 300 of that 800 is in the keypads themselves. So if you went to uh, you know, much cheaper keypads, which are available out there, you could easily knock a couple of hundred bucks off of that and get to around a $600 install. Uh, in my case, I had to do some welding out there, which I did myself on my iron gate. If you had, had to hire a welder, of course, that would kick it back up. So you'll understanding that you're dealing with somewhere to probably between a $600 to a $1,000 install. If you want all these bells and whistles, if you want the wireless connectivity, etc etc so in the battery backup and things like that so there's a lot of ways to cheapen this up and uh but this has everything in there and you can pick and choose the various components that you want for your own application so let's take a look at it outside it was as it was actually built in the field and as it actually functions so after it's all said and done this is the complete install showing you the various components as I've described previously, they're included in this plastic enclosure. I won't go through it again, but you can see that it does all fit and it's connected exactly like I have shown in the wiring diagram that I previously described. Also, you can see here the 120 volt AC power supply coming from the house and running to the enclosure. And from there, if I get out of the enclosure's way, the conduit runs underground over here and I'll step out a little awkwardly and show how this conduit comes up out of the ground and then follows along and goes to the gate. This is actually a shower um, handle set, a shower control handle set that I cut off of a uh, shower head, handheld shower head and used that as my flexible conduit. Worked quite nicely. And um, then I have rigid conduit running along the uh, rod iron gate itself, and then up to the actual uh, magnetic lock system itself, which again is very secure. And then on the inside, I have a wireless keypad, which I can hit the code to that. And that actually controls the opening of the gate, as you can see here. And then after a few seconds, the magnetic lock is energized again. And so when it closes up, after you walk through, it's very secure and you cannot open it. And you can set the seconds as you want in the operation of the magnetic lock. So I hope you found this video useful and the various components that I've described herein and you can customize it to fit your own build as you suit in your particular application. Take care.